Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle. And for those of you who wanted to take a closer look at your top two at the New York Pro, this is your chance, this is it, Stuart Sutherland, Beef Stew, or Stew Beef, versus Tony O'Burton. And we're going to take a look at all of the poses. Kudos to NPC News Online for releasing these shots very quickly. Now I thought... From watching the video footage, things of that nature, I thought Tony O'Burton had this one wrapped up. Nice, neat little package. Look at the wheels on this Stuart Sutherland. And food for thought, his conditioning. When you get a closer shot here, closer look, conditioning of those wheels, very tight, very tight indeed. Tony O'Burton, maybe not quite as dominant as I thought earlier on. I mean, these closer up shots, these are, these are excellent pitchers. Like I said, kudos to NPC News Online. Good separation for Tonio in those arms. Better separation maybe in the pecs, lats, things of that nature. So, ultimately, pretty close, but you know what? Maybe even an edge to Stewart. Just a bigger, bigger dude. Turn to the front lat spread. Now, this is a surprisingly good shot for for both guys, really. For both guys. Antonio, wow, does he look flawless. Look at that. Cartoonish. Cartoonish, cartoonish. There's always those people that say ish instead of ish. Wow. But yeah, yeah, look at that. Abs a poppin. That's not that common in the front lat spread, guys. Those legs again of stew beef. Awesome. And look at his lats. What would you call that? Dorian esque? I would. I would. He's a force. He's a force for sure. And he is close to Tonio. And if they give him the victory over Tonio Burton after the first two shots, I don't think too many people would complain. Here's the side chest. Yes, yes, yes. Quad sweeps. Hanging hamstring. I mean, stew beef. Beef stew has it all. Big man's chest. Tonio matching him on all those aspects. Maybe a little thinner in the skin. Maybe, maybe. Look at the size of the delts on Stu Beef. Look at his hair. I love this wacky hair. Wacky. I like the long hair look. You guys know that. Old Mark's Max Muscle. I think I got both of these guys beat in hair length. But I think they got me a little bit on the muscle size. What do you guys think? Just presentation. Awesome. Outstanding. For Stuart. Side tricep on the other hand. This is a bad, bad picture, I think. Not the clearest shots. These ones, pretty good though, pretty good. But I mean, Stewart, I don't think he's hitting the shot. At the time, the timing's a little bit off. Needs a little work on the calves, I should say. Hey, it wouldn't be me, guys. It wouldn't be me if I didn't mention it. Both guys, eh, Antonio, a little more separation in the calves, I would say. Definitely. Go to the back. Hmm. Interesting. The condition is closer than I thought. This is a close matchup, guys. Look at the waistline of Tonio. That makes for a better back. Maybe, maybe. Similar back size, I guess you could say, on a smaller frame. Does look more presentful. Cleaner, neater lat insertions, for sure. Bigger traps on Stu. Bigger delts, for sure. Bigger man, bigger man. I mean, I'm more impressed with the lower half, I gotta say. And that's gonna be a tough one for the judges. Are they gonna give it to Tonio based on the better back or the uh, better lower half? For Stu. Here's the rear lat spread. And Tonio is a incredible. Incredible. Look at this rear lat spread. This is stuff of legend. This is definitely a winning rear lat spread. But then again, you look at the lower half. You gonna give it to Stu? Winning in the calves this time, flex them a little harder for this shot. Attaboy, attaboy. So beef stew, the whole beef stew, the whole enchilada. Matching Tonio, so it is a race, and when you turn around for the abs and thigh, with all due respect to Tonio, I think Stu might even have this one. He's winning in the quads. Tonio good and separated in the quads and in the abs. But, I mean, Stu just has a better flow. He has a, 
You know, upper body matches the lower body just fine in this absent eye. And he is nailing it. Look, at there, there, there's there's no space in between the arms there. Well, a little bit, a little bit, but the hair covers most of the space. <laughs> hey, what can I say? I like it. Something different from the norm. As well as Tony. Hmm? Hmm. Most muscular, most certainly a matchup. Tonio, you can see, I mean, it's easy to see. He has a more narrow clavicle, a smaller frame. Stew beef, awesome frame, outstanding structure. Now, muscle-wise, look at Tonio's round, full, bulbous muscles. Incredible. But size-wise, I mean, Stuart, he, he's incredible too. Look at that. Delts, arms. Now, ultimately, guys, we're going to have to wait till the finals because if Stu comes on strong and Tonio lets off the gas, could be Stuart's game. Sutherland? Donald Sutherland? Well, I don't think so. I don't think so. But either which way, I mean, it is going to depend on who brings it. Tonio, he's got more experience. You're going to want to bet your your money on him. And I do. I think uh, Tonio Burton, he's in a fight, but he's going to win. He's going to win the New York Pro. So, Pre-congratulations, not yet, not yet. I'll let you guys know what's going on, if you know what I'm... So, so, sing. That was a light-based one. Just a light-based one. Just a fig Newton. Stay tuned, guys. Have a great one.